George McDermott, Maryland Court Watch News. I'm down here at Calvert County uh, District Court. Uh, down here on a, a mission of mercy for Jean Wales Mashad. Uh, she filed the, this uh, request. It's an affidavit she gave. She's given me to come down here, notarize the affidavit, uh, to pick up a copy of her. Medical evaluation from Dr. Teresa Grant, alleged Dr. Teresa Grant, and put it into the court record in the Court of Appeals. Uh, also, to I've got to get a copy of docket entries from this court and a copy of docket entries from the Circuit Court, uh, showing uh, for the Court of Appeals case, uh, so she can prove that she's uh, a perfecter appeal. And uh, I just left her property down. This is the 18th day of. January 2013, I left her property down in Solomon's. Uh, so let me go in and see what what kind of shenanigans the court will play with to prohibit her from getting her, her medical evaluation. I'll pick this up when I leave. Once again, George McDermott, I'm outside the just left the district court here in Calvert County, Maryland. Once again, the clerks of the court are covering up everything. They refused, even though they admitted that they've got the certified uh, original of Gene Michaud's affidavit asking me to pick these documents up. They're saying, no, a judge has to approve the release of them. Well, that's absolutely wrong under health care general rules of the state of Maryland. What we have here is an absolute criminal conspiracy taking place by and between the Calvert County Sheriff's Department and the Calvert County uh, judges in the Galvin County Clerk's Office, uh, a violation under uh, Title 18 of Civil Rights Down. It, now she has a court date scheduled for uh, December 21st, 2013. Uh, they're, now they're doctoring, uh, they're doing, uh, playing with the docket I just called someone to have them print me a copy of the docket offline, which I know will show that, that what they're doing is an absolute criminal procedure. So I'm going to pick this up when I leave the circuit court across the street. Once again, I'm down here at Calvary County Circuit Court, where I just went in to see the uh, office, uh, the state's attorney's office, 175 Main Street. I was given this document that uh, Laura Martin left for me at the state's... It's the State v. G. Michaud, uh, case is CR 5000004518 and CR 0000004518. And it says, Mr. McDermott, I am in receipt of your letter dated December 27, 2012. As has been explained to you in previous, previously, Allison O'Connell is not an agent of the state's attorney's office of Calvert County. She is not my employee, and I am not her supervisor. She is an employee of the Maryland State Agency, the Office of Public Defender. She is a defense attorney of record of Jean Michaud. The psychological examination ordered by the district judge, the results of that examination were made known to the state, to the defendant's counsel, the judge and the defendant. They've never been made known to the defendant whatsoever. G. Uh, Allison O'Connell's a liar. And it was sealed by the court a court order is necessary to unseal this this report. The state is unable by law to disclose to anyone at this point without a court order. Well, I'm sorry. She has a absolute right under state uh, health code general rules to uh, access to those records. If you don't think so, we'll see you in federal court. Uh, sincerely... Laura L. Martin, State's Attorney. This is George McDermott signing off from the land of the scam and the home of the fraud, Calvary County, Maryland. 
1.30 p.m. 19th day, 18th day of January 2013.